Today's 3D print quick tip. I promised somebody I would post this earlier, so here is that promised post. Let me get a better angle for you here. Come on, play nice. There we go. Um, when you're buying a 3D printer from Gearbest, now this applies for the ANA E10, this applies for the CR10, and this applies for the Ender 2. It should apply for most printers, but assumptions the mother of all fuck up, so verify first. But for those three printers, do not order based on where you live. I don't care where you live, and the printer doesn't care where you live. <laughs> right? They're all 110, 240 compatible. Okay? The only thing that's different is the little plug that goes into the printer. This is a $3 plug you can buy locally. I, I could buy these for $1.99. Alright, there's typically two kinds. You have the three circle kind, it's called a C5. And then you also have the normal computer power supply kind, it looks like a little house with the flat slots. Um, I don't know what that one's called, I just happened to notice it's called a C5. I needed one of these and I had to figure out what it was called, so I found out what it was called. But this is the cord for the Ender 2. The only difference between the EU Ender 2 and the US Ender 2 is this $3 cable. Because the power brick itself is 100 240 volt compatible. So it does not care where you plug it in or what you plug it into. You simply need to buy the versions that's the cheapest. The reason I tell you to buy the EU version is because it's cheaper. The coupon code works for the EU version, but not the US version. But it doesn't matter. You probably already have one of these cables, and if you don't, it's probably three to five bucks for you to buy one locally. So save the 30 bucks on the printer and buy your own $3 cable to replace the one that's in the printer. That's it. So for the Ender 2, you're just gonna buy a, whatever your local plug is, C5 cable. That's it. Okay. If you're in the US, you're going to buy a US C5 cable. That's it. it. It doesn't matter. So just buy the EU version and then replace the little cable with whatever, whatever cable you need for your printer. That's all. The same thing applies to the CR10. The same thing applies to the ANET E10. They use the standard house style the slots plug. So you just buy that cable that has your plug on the other end locally. You probably have half a dozen of them in your house. You probably don't even need to go out and buy one. Every computer you ever bought comes with one, although this is typically seen on laptops. And that's a laptop style power supply, which is probably why it includes this kind of plug. Um, but your typical built-in power supply like those printers, the CR1080 and are typically the other style, the little house with the three slots. So buy whichever version is cheaper, replace the plug with your plug. If it's the Ender 2, you don't need to switch anything. It's auto-sensing. It'll detect whether you're 100 to 240 volts, and it'll just work. The uh, ANA E10 and the CR10, you have to hit the little switch on the side. You flip to either 110 or 220, but the plug doesn't matter. And that is the only difference between the UK, EU, AU, CH, whatever. That is the only difference between all these printers is the plug. This part right here is the plug. Um, at least for these three printers. I mean, it, I guess there is the possibility you could have a printer that's only one or the other, but I've never seen one. They're all typically, you just replace this plug. As long as the power supply itself is either switchable between 100 and 240 or is universally compatible like the Ender 2's 100 240, then all you need to do is to have the appropriate plug to plug into the power supply with your country's plug on the other end. That's all you need. 